Granger Smith, 43, is retiring from country music to focus on serving his local church. Granger made the announcement via a heartfelt Instagram and TikTok video he shared on Tuesday, April 11, 2023. I have been so nervous to make this video just because of the implications of what it means for my wife and my family, he noted before revealing that his upcoming river tour will be his last. The tour, which kicks off on April 13, is named after his three-year-old son River, who died from a drowning accident in their Texas home in June 2019. I have a strong desire to pursue ministry. The 19 Forever hitmaker continued in his video. This doesn't mean I'm gonna start a church or a crusade or a revival. This means me and my family are gonna serve our local church. We are gonna pour into that church as members and have my pastors and leaders pour into me. He also revealed that he has been working toward a master's degree from Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. I am so encouraged and hopeful and excited and joyful about the next chapter, but to a large extent, I have no idea what it will look like," Granger wrote in his caption. I just want to glorify God the best way that I can. I want to learn and grow and serve my local church and allow my pastors to equip and affirm those next steps. Lord willing, I want to be used to help people find their purpose. He also announced his book. Like a River, which explores his life following his son's death. Read on to learn about Granger ahead of his retirement from country music. One Granger's most known song is Backroads Song. The hit peaked at number 4 on Billboard's Billboard Country Digital Songs chart. I've never gotten a single into the top 10 on the iTunes chart before, this is the first time, Granger told Billboard in 2015. It just popped out and started shooting up the chart. I started to think, wow. We've got something here. It's a testament to how loyal our fans are, and they have always been so great at telling their friends about us and spreading the word, he continued. They are so vocal about it. When someone says, I just heard Granger Smith's new single, and it's the song of the summer that's gold to me. I can never convince their friends who don't know me better than they can. That's the story of how this has happened and how strong the grassroots approach is. Granger has landed back road song plus four other songs on the country airplay chart as well, if the boot fits, happens like that, you're in it, and that's why I love dirt roads. 2. Granger signed with Emmy Music Publishing when he was 19. The country crooner was a freshman at Texas A&M when he recorded his first album, 1998's Waiting on Forever. His work caught the attention of Emmy Music Publishing and they signed a writing and publishing deal with him a few years later, per all music. Granger eventually returned to Texas to finish his degree, but continued to perform at local bars while also releasing new music. His first major record deal came in 2015, and fourth came the 2016 album Remington. 3. The death of Granger's son changed his relationship with God. Granger has always identified as a Christian, but his religion became more important to him as he healed from the loss of his son. As I was reading the Bible, I was coming across things with a new heart and eyes opened. During my healing, I was reading things like Mark 8:36, where Jesus said, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake, and the gospel, will save it. Then he goes on to say, For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his soul, Granger explained to people in April 2023. I was sitting there looking at that through my broken healing, and this was during COVID, and I wasn't touring, and I was reading this like, where in country music am I modeling that for other people?